one else will do and your eyes they tell me how much you care oh yeah you will always be my endless love hey y'all welcome to the channel so you guys know we're talking about a more infinite the new fragrance from navitas in collect in collaboration slow down roxanne in collaboration with ai the great so if you're interested in my thoughts please keep watching Okay, y'all, so before we get started with the video, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Roxanne, and this is Roxanne's Retreat. If this is your first time joining me, thank you and welcome. And if you've been here before and you decided to come back, big up your whole self. Truly appreciate your continued support of my channel. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and make sure your notification bell is turned on so you will know every single time I upload. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, so let's start with the packaging. So the packaging is the same, a gorgeous packaging that every other, uh, every other one of her fragrances came in, you know, the, the luxurious Navitus box and the fragrance laying in this bed of satin very gorgeous very classy just like the others and the bottle same thing it's very pretty it is gorgeous it's hefty same bottle listen my mind when um i saw ai's video talking about the fragrance revealing the bottle my mind went straight to island things because this bottle is pink, but you know, I started thinking like we do in the Caribbean, the red, green, and gold, and you know, this substituting for the red, so the ice, the green, amorous, intense, and ambrosia imperial of the gold, so the ice, green, and the gold. Island things, people, island things. So this does not disappoint. I love this bottle. This is gorgeous. Take a look at it, y'all. If you haven't seen it, it's beautiful. So packaging, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for the packaging because it's gorgeous. Okay, so full disclosure, I've been wearing this fragrance for about a week. I've been testing this fragrance for about a week. My guy has worn this fragrance. <laughs> yes, we are just testing the fragrance. So. Here we go. Let's talk about the juice. So, of course, the atomizer, gorgeous. It's a very pretty atomizer, nice and fine. Oh, by the way, this is my scent of the day. Usually I talk about my scent of the day, but today it's the fragrance that I'm speaking about. So, yes, this. This is like on the first spray, right? You get this very bright, very fruity, opening it's sweet but there's a little bit of something tart in here so in the opening per the notes we have italian bergamot red fruits pomegranate pineapple and grapefruit so i get something a little tart and i think maybe it's the grapefruit or it might be the pomegranate but the the opening is bright it's fruity but it's not like it's not like juvenile fruity. It's like grown woman fruity. That's that's what I get here. Now, as the fragrance, you know, goes on this little journey, we have in the middle, we have orange blossom, honeysuckle, rose, and jasmine. I can tell you on my skin, um, I don't get like the, the, the floral notes. I cannot pick them out just from smelling it. It's all blended so well. I don't smell the jasmine. I get some of the rose, but it doesn't really smell like your typical rose. I don't know how to explain that. It just doesn't smell like, you know, 
rose from like let's say what, what are the rose fragrances in my life oh my gosh like not not like possibilities because that one's spicy nothing like delina it's just a different rose it's all blended well and it's just really it's just really smooth so though if you don't like florals <laughs> you probably won't even know that on just from the smell of this you really won't pick up the florals in here but yes gorgeous so as the fragrance goes on the journey we, we're going to the base notes we have white chocolate madagascar vanilla heliotrope driftwood and sandalwood now from all of the notes that i just spoke about that just came out of my mouth the thing that stands out for me on my skin is the white chocolate now you guys know I like chocolate and fragrances. I just have to be in the mood. This white chocolate here, you, if you don't like chocolate in your fragrances, you wouldn't even know. You get like this sweetness. You get like it, it's decadent, but it's not thick, if that makes any sense. So with the chocolate and the vanilla, you don't get something that's overly like thick or heavy which makes it wonderful for us that live in the state of Florida. For anybody that lives in like crazy hot climate, don't let that chocolate or any of the gourmand notes in the base scare you because it is not heavy. It's not, it's not like weighing the fragrance down at all, which makes me extremely happy because when AI was talking about it, I was like, man, is it going to be a fragrance that I could only pull out like, <laughs> you know, once, once, once a year, two times a year when Florida has its two days of winter because of that chocolate note? <laughs> Nothing like that, okay? This is a really light, airy chocolate and vanilla. But I get more chocolate on my skin than anything else. And then you get, I get some of that sandalwood, but it's like creamy. So it's like the base with the vanilla, the chocolate, and the sandalwood gives it like a nice creamy, um, creamy base, but not like a thick, heavy cream. I want you guys to understand that piece because at first I was a little, you know, I was like, man, I don't really want anything that's too heavy because a lot of the fragrances that I own that are too heavy, I don't wear them as much as you know as i would like to based on my geographical location so yeah i was really thrilled when this was dancing on my skin so those are the notes i want you to understand what this fragrance makes me feel when i wear it when i wore it this fragrance gave me a really upscale classy fun but still has a serious side kind of vibe it's like really feminine so it's not um you know if, if you like fragrances that are like super unisex with heavy um woody notes this ain't the one for you okay this is not the one for you this one is very classy very feminine, very approachable. This is a signature scent. You could wear this fragrance all year round. Like I said, when I heard the notes, I was a little bit worried because I'm like, man, that chocolate, that chocolate, but no, no, no ma'am, no sir. It is not heavy or anything like that. This is a gorgeous, Fruity floral fragrance that drives down to be a really wearable gourmand, if that makes any sense. So in the dry down, the dry down is for the gourmand lovers. It's going to give you that gourmand vibe. It's not for, it's not going to, it's not drying down as like something like majorly edible that you have to be in the mood for, you know, if you don't like gourmands. No, this one you know, it touches every little aspect of, of a fragrance lover. This fragrance to me will be like a fragrance that diff people with different, um, what scent profiles that enjoy different, this fragrance could be, it's going to be really versatile. It, you know, I could have said that in two, two seconds, right? 
it's it's, it's going to be a versatile fragrance. You're going to see that. I mean, that's what I think. You're going to see that people that like different scent profiles like this fragrance. If that makes any sense at all. Okay, in terms of performance, in terms of performance, and I can speak to performance um, in the elements, and I can also speak to performance like in a controlled climate, like, you know, in the office, in the AC. So in the elements, like my guy and I, we both wore this in the elements. And when I tell you it gave us performance, <laughs> it was performing it gave us like literally we were outside doing our thing it gave us about seven to eight hours of true performance like we could smell each other from across the room kind of performance and then after that you know it kind of died down to a skin scent so the performance is good in terms of projection and sillage, I would say it's above moderate. It's not moderate. It's a little bit above the moderate line because I was um, in, where was I? I was in Target. I was wearing it and I was in Target and I had left um, one aisle and I went around. I was looking for something else and I heard a woman saying, what is that smell? It smells so good. And then you know, she was kind of like talking to herself. <laughs> you know, you hear people saying that in a supermarket. I was like, what is that smell? And I know she was smelling me. It was a more infinite. So if you're wondering if this thing is going to stick to you and, you know, tell the world that you're here. Yes, it is. So if you don't want to, um, <laughs> if you don't want to do that, spray lightly. Now, Again, this is not a heavy fragrance. This is an amazing fragrance for every day. This could be somebody's signature scent. So it's not an overpowering fragrance in terms of, you know, it's not going to like stifle anybody in the room, but it performs, if that makes sense. I'm trying to help you to understand the vibe of the fragrance. So what do I think about the fragrance overall? I mean, spoiler alert, I think you guys already know that I am enamored by this fragrance this is not like when ai explained it i expected um i expected a little bit of more of a rose forward um fragrance but i am not mad at it i actually love the journey that this fragrance takes on my skin it is a gorgeous um it's something that, you know, when you first spray it, you might say, oh, okay, yeah, okay, it's just another fragrance. But the magic, the magic to me on my skin is the journey it takes in the opening. Then, then, then the journey it takes, it develops, it develops so nicely on my skin. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. What am I going to give this fragrance in terms of out of 10? Huh. Now, you guys know Ambrosia Imperial for me is a 10 out of 10. Okay? Amorous Intense, I would say it's a 6.57 out of 10. This is a 9.5 out of 10. No cap, no lie. That is how I feel about a more infinite. And whew, I've only had it for a week. Granted, my guy wore it too, but look at it, y'all. I already got a dent. The dent is already there. I love this fragrance. And you guys know I love AI, whatever. You know, she's. I, I love watching her. I've been watching her for a long time. And I'm not saying I love the fragrance because I love the creator. No, I'm saying I love the fragrance because I love it. <laughs> okay, I got the fragrance and I absolutely love it. Is it a safe blind buy? Mm, it depends. I would say no. I would say no, it's not a safe blind buy because if if you're just going off of the notes, you, you're probably going to be a little bit deceived, okay? And I'm, when I say that, it's just that I was, I had like a smell in my head, but then when I sprayed the fragrance, 
It gave me something different, something extra, something more than what I was expecting. So not a safe blind buy, my opinion. But you know, of course I blind bought it. I lived on the edge, of course. But yeah. So this is Amour Infinite. It is a fragrance that I know that I will enjoy till it's done. And as of right now, it's definitely going to be a fragrance that I will repurchase. Okay, y'all, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I did the description some kind of justice. My hand is hurting from holding up this heavy bottle the whole time talking about it because you all know this is, you know, it's substantial, substantial. Very, a very, very nice fragrance. AI, you did your thing. Once again, I am very, very proud of you. This was another hit. You're giving them hit after hit after hit. I love it. Okay? So, like I always say, we can be anything in this world we want to be with some hard work, dedication, perseverance. But in the meantime, while we're getting there, and even if we're already there, smell like good people. Smell like good people. Get this fragrance. You won't regret it. Bye, y'all.